All right, one more thing with that potentiometer. Um, one place told me the values are up to 4,095. So what I've done here, again, I got all those same setups, the privacy statements. Um, but again, the while is bump equals zero, run the program until we hit it. But I created this variable called speed and I set the speed equal to the sensor value from the dial divided by 32. The reason I divided by 32 is because the potentiometer has values up to like 4,000 and the motor only has values up to 127. So do the math and it's about a factor of 32. So start the, and then it says start the right motor and make it the speed that I called speed. So, oh, and we're, we're not stopping one uh, another. I forgot to change that comment. So the program is actually sitting, is running. I got my potentiometer all the way to the right. So as I turn it, my motor starts running. And as I keep turning it, my motor's going faster. And then up here, it's full speed kind of thing. And then as I turn it down, Again, my speed comes down. So, again, I divided the 4,000 possible numbers that the potential I could return to get them down to the 127 possible things for motor. It's not perfect, but it gets the idea. So, it's another way to use a potentiometer.